Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of How to Miro and in this video we will take a look at mind maps in Miro. To create a mind map uh, the easiest option um, is to just click this button here. So there's this option that's available right on your dashboard. So just click on it uh, and it will create a new board for you. So I'll just click on create a shared board uh, and it will create a new board with a mind map already created for you. Um, and that's just a basic structure that it is already created uh, and then you can go ahead and uh, edit the contents of this mind map um, by yourself. Now if you do happen to uh, create a blank board uh, or if you do happen to find yourself in a blank board or in an existing board and need to create a new mind map somewhere in the board what you can do is you can click on the three dots here from the left sidebar uh, and then just search for mind map you get this mind map click on it uh, and then basically click anywhere on the board to add the root element of your mind map so that's hello world um, so what I'm going to do is just going to delete that one and just continue using the one that Miro already created for me uh, and we'll just build on that uh, so let's say if I have uh, this very you know big problem here um, and I can basically add anything uh, in the notes in the in the nodes uh, the child nodes and I can drag them around now if you have um, created a mind map on paper before you would know that uh, mind map is an amazing tool uh, to really to really add some structure to a visual structure uh, to something that you've been thinking in your mind uh, so maybe it's a problem maybe it is um, um, some sort of classification that you're thinking about uh, or some sort of organization that you're thinking about so if you uh, want to arrange ideas that you have in your mind uh, mind map is a really good tool to try out um, and so uh, I've tried it out on paper and I've, and I've used on other online tools as well uh, to create a mind map but now that you can do it in Miro you do not have to go anywhere else uh, so it's right here in your Miro account in your Miro board so I can create a few nodes um, and I can click on the plus icon here to create something new as well I can move the nodes around um, now if I move it around here so if I move it just above this you will notice that it actually um, reassigns itself to another node so similar to this one if I re if I move it close enough to these ones it'll actually reassign so the if you don't want this to happen you can click on the control uh, key on your keyboard this is for Windows um, and the equivalent for Mac as well uh, click on the control button in the keyboard and then move it around now if you notice it will not reassign itself to another node this works for these child nodes but of course for this node if you were to try this out uh, it will work as in one assign it to its siblings but if you move it to the other side it will get assigned to uh, the other side of the root node so that is something to keep in mind now I can keep moving this around as per I like and as per my thoughts take me um, but if I do need to organize this in a snap I can click on the root node and then click on align child nodes this will snap all the elements together and it organize itself for me so I don't have to do that manually now the other thing to note is that each of these lines are randomly assigned a color but if you do want to specify uh, which color you want a certain line to be you can click on a node and then just basically change um, the color from here but otherwise um, if you do want to randomize all the colors in your mind map just click on this button and then click on randomize the more number of times you click on it the more random it gets and, and just keeps shuffling through all the colors so give it a try 
and then finally uh, all of these lines are quite fluid it's quite smooth the, the curves are quite smooth it's not rigid uh, but if you do want to change this if you do want to change the type you can click on the node click on this first uh, option here which is to change the theme of the mind map uh, and you can change this to a more uh, rigid sort of lines uh, or you can keep it fluid and then of course it goes left and right but if you want to go your if you want your mind map to go top and down um, you can click on this option here and that's what it will do it will arrange it vertically instead of horizontally so there you go a few options um, and then um, um, any other node that you click on you can uh, we do your same text updates so your font style font size um, you can link to another file you can change the color of the text and you can even highlight this particular text so those things still remain the same so that was a quick video on mind maps on how to use mind maps in Miro I hope you found this useful if you do give it a thumbs up uh, leave me a like uh, and please comment down below if you have used mind maps in the past and if you if you do happen to try out mind maps in Miro uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought about it um, and I'll be happy to more than happy to respond um, do subscribe to this YouTube channel uh, if you do want to have a look at more future videos that I'll be posting on this channel and finally do share this with your network so your friends family and maybe even your colleagues whoever this video might find uh, useful that's all for this video thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for another video and, and see you in another video really bye bye